previously on Sailing Catalpa. We visit a magic island. Dad scares the poop out of Grandma. <laughs> and we have a swinging time and say goodbye to our new friends at Bunda Appy. We woke up to a beautiful day full of sunshine and ready to head off to A Island. So I've left uh, Bunda Nila again this morning and we're heading to A Island. So. Attempt number two, we went yesterday and it was storming and windy and horrible and we couldn't anchor so we are going out to see if we can go there again and have a dive and look around. Today is a much better day, it's beautiful so the sun's shining, there's not much wind but that's okay, it's only five nautical miles away so we should be there in about an hour. just arrived at A Island and it is a lot more pleasant today and uh, Lee and I are about to drop the tender and go and have a little scout out because we're just not sure we whether came in yesterday. From one meter to a hundred or whether there's a bit of a shelf to anchor on so we're yeah. gonna go have a look. We'll go see. Right on, let's go. It's going to be a tricky little anchorage, but Sarah's going to investigate further. After a look around and having no luck, Mum and Dad thought they would check out the mooring. And to their surprise, it looked good. It was really deep, so they couldn't check out the bottom, but the top was new looking and the thick lines reassured us Catalpa would be on here fine. We've got Bella and Mama in the tender. Sean's going to pass the rope from the bow and Sarah's going to wrap it around this big, we think, is a conservationist mooring, free mooring, so very hard to anchor here and we don't want to damage the reef either, so if we do get a chance to moor, we will. And let's go. Throw and pull it through, Sarah. Oh. Uh. Can you go around that side of the push the this way? Um, we're just getting help. I think these guys are the rangers. So We just said that, we thought you might be. Oh, yeah. That's excellent. These guys are with a team here that works on the conservation of A Island. 
they came aboard, told us the places to dive and how they are educating the people about looking after this beautiful place. With no fishing and keeping rubbish out of the ocean, we were stoked to hear this and so happy to pay the small fee to stay on the mooring to help this project. We hope more islands in Indonesia head in this direction to maintain their beautiful islands. And if you feel more comfortable with that, you can play with that if you want. That's just we were very excited to dive, but first needed to give Grandma a refresher. On your right you side, just boom, boom. Yep. Then it was time to load the tender and check out the underwater world here on A Island. The first dive was a wall dive, with plenty of small fish and pretty corals, good visibility and a nice easy dive for Grandma. When we take someone diving, Bella buddy dives with Dad. This means they share a scuba tank. And Bella breathes off Dad's spare regulator. Bella actually likes diving like this, as she feels safe in Dad's arms. Stoked when we came up to the surface. What an enjoyable dive, and we couldn't wait until the next one. We headed back to Catalpa to eat and fill the tanks so we could get back under the water for another dive. It takes about an hour or two to fill up the tanks. We repack the tender and head to the other side of the island for an afternoon scuba. We are glad we did. The visibility was incredible. Our friends always want to know, what do we do all day? Well, when we're somewhere like this, we pretty much live in the water. What about schoolwork? Well, days like this, we live and breathe marine studies. Seeing the underwater world in all its glory beats learning in a classroom, I reckon.
Yeah, me too. Me high on life. So Bella, tell us about the barracuda again. Did you just about get eaten? Yes. What happened? They started Was there one? We all got back home, ate and then fell asleep. The next morning we decided we had to leave this island paradise. We didn't refill the tanks so we headed out for one last free dive. When we are underwater, we use hand signals to communicate. Here is Bella telling mum there is a shark. Can you see the little reef shark swimming by? We love seeing sharks. It is a good sign the reef is healthy. How sweet is this island? It's rock formations, blue water surrounding it and the trees on the shore. Check this one out, it looks like something out of Avatar. It's not free, but there's a mooring and it's brilliant. You don't have to anchor. Um, it costs 50,000, so what's that? No, 500,000. No, 20. So it was Dua Pulu Ribu, which is $20 roughly Australian to stay on there. And so they can protect the reef and um, we pay a small fee to dive here as well, which all goes to conservation which we are big on supporting so happy to pay that money to help them protect this beautiful island. But we've had a beautiful time here and uh, we're sad to go but it is time to move on.
That is Ganang Api, the volcano that we climbed. And we're off. Sail through the night to Ambon. Here's Dad giving Grandma a crash course in our navigation equipment and what to do on watch. Like check we are on track on our GPS unit. Make sure the sails aren't flapping or doing weird things. Keep watch for other boats or floating objects. And most importantly, stay awake. And make sure to wake the captain if anything is wrong. On night passages, Mum and Dad take turns on watch. So with Grandma aboard, they will get more sleep. Just left, we're going three knots. We've got wind nearly on the nose, not ideal. About eight knots. And, uh, yeah. Here's Mum on watch. been on watch for the last two hours and surprise surprise Lee did not sleep so uh, just gonna start watch without not sleeping like usual how is our passage going well we got no wind it's a nice evening the motor's just purring away ideally I'd like another five more knots so we can turn the engine off and uh, bring it round onto the beam a bit more. Today that's sailing. Doesn't always go the way you want it to go. Just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride then. What are you making mummy? Dad filling the diesel tanks while underway. We need some more wind to fill up the sails and turn off the engine. some clouds being detected on the radar. Poor mum. But 
we've just realised it's Friday and our checkout day is Monday which means we've lost two days because it's the weekend tomorrow um, hopefully we're, we're hoping we can get to town in time today just to let them know we've got to check out by Monday so fingers crossed we've got to get to Immigration and Customs um, today hopefully otherwise we'll just to wing it on Monday, which I'm hoping is a possibility. Lee's back on watch. You had a good night's sleep last night, didn't you, honey? Yeah. Breaks it up a little bit. It's perfect. So you would have had longer, but it started torrential rain this morning and the wind picked up and it was doing all weird kind of things and it woke him up. But uh, we've had a pretty cruisy night. We just had a squall and some rain this morning when I was on watch. And it's back there. But yeah, nearly there. Had calm seas which is nice. You see some pretty red things sailing. We passed the whale and her baby, but they didn't hang around long. Then what we thought was a whole lot of dolphins ended up being some kind of whales, we think. There were so many, anyone know what these guys are? We thought they were false killer whales but they didn't look like the ones we'd seen before. And they had no interest in riding the bow. So join us next time as we arrive in Ambon for a quick stop to check out of Indonesia as our six months here has come to an end. Hi guys, so that was episode 85. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to put a thumbs up and if you haven't already, press subscribe. Yeah, we appreciate you watching. We've got some really good news this week. We are, fingers crossed, <laughs> leaving Timor Leste. We got one more parcel coming in a couple of days and then we should be good to go. So we just want to say a massive thank you for all your support through these last few weeks that we've been stuck here. Um, it hasn't been the funnest but your messages and your kind comments have made it a lot easier. A massive thank you to Doug who has is the reason why we will be able to get on our way again. Mate, you are an absolute legend. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Also Doug's brother and his father. You all have helped in this whole situation. Anyone who has been anything to do with getting parcels or delivering um, to us, Joe and Brian, uh, you guys have helped um, here in Dili as well. Uh, we have so much kindness and love around us and support and we just want to say a massive thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. See you next time. See you when we won't be in Dili. <laughs> all comes all thanks to you all all thanks to y'all